my seed is my seed, your seed is your seed. It's weird to like wanna come and stuff if you're a guy. Yeah. <laughs> who's who's, the, who's the biggest I'm Sigma here? Sure. Yeah. You're never gonna come Are you a Sigma? <laughs> no fab! And what does he do? He fab. Begin the ritual. The NoFap and semen retention movement has grown massively in the last few years. Here, we have a group who meets to support each other in person. There's a guarantee if you're on any of these subreddits or any of these forums that you will come across some of our members indubitably and undoubtedly. <laughs> retention, NoFap, all that stuff. Um, it all really comes down to the core belief that we do have a natural essence, a natural power, and we completely knock that out and kill it if we waste our seed. Wasting their seed. It does work if you stick to it. Um, Spencer's the real deal. He's um, changed my life. Yeah, I just wanna basically dispel like all the crazy stuff people say about our following. It's just a bunch of men who just wanna become stronger. Men who wanna be more alpha, you know? They wanna feel good. I'm trying to really raise my testosterone levels. Women can tell when you haven't released for a while. So you can tell, right? It's like a pheromone thing. It's good for you. Do you actually feel the effects? I have gained certain powers. I feel like I could lift a smart car. I used to wear glasses, but I'm just not doing that now. And my eyes have adapted. And I think it's due to the testosterone and um, yeah. Are you painting again? Yes. Yeah. Even my mom, my sister, they're starting to give me these looks. Wow. I have incredible reflexes. My gymnastic abilities are beyond Olympic standards. Okay. And um, I've been winning a lot of fights lately. When I hit a 100-day streak, I started getting some prophetic dreams. Has anybody uh, had any other bodily changes they've noticed once their streak has gone long enough? I'm on day uh, 49 now. And uh, my hair's starting to come back a little bit. Wow. That is amazing. Let's hear it for that. I don't want to speak grand or anything, but like, I love you. I just, I love you guys. And it means a lot that you guys are like my brothers and care. So thank you. It's not great. It's not great. It's actually not great. pretty cool. Thanks, man. I'm a newcomer here, no pun intended. I think what they're doing is great. They seem really serious about it. We've been, we've been dating for like six months, yeah. Oh, you can't do that. Is she, is she like making you have s with her? Uh, significant others, S-O-S. -S. You don't want any of your brothers to be with their significant other without you. Okay, if you're left alone with a girlfriend, a wife, or something that can be very problematic. I, just We just do everything that you do in a relationship, but I don't really want to talk about any of that. Well, unfortunately with this program, you're gonna have to either break up with her or come to terms with the fact that you're not gonna spread your seed to her because you need to keep your seed and sacred to you and your body. Uh, do you think that's something she'd be okay with, that she would understand? I just came here on a friend's recommendation. Uh, that's a little culty for me. I don't think I'll be back, but I'm glad I got to meet some interesting people. I don't want to talk about any of that. I don't want to like, I don't want to like jeopardize my relationship. Or yeah, then we don't need you. You have to let her go. Well, I'm not going to, I love her. You, you need to do it. Get out your phone. No, uh, why would we? And it's really sweet that they're able to find some like-minded people, but it's not for me. And we weren't put on this earth to, to waste our seed. We weren't put on this earth to, to give it to a woman. I didn't need a fiance, you know? She wanted kids. I didn't want a con, so. <sighs> staying away from my mom, staying away from my sister, staying away from my kids. Hey guys, Joel Haver, going on uh, two weeks. I'm newer than you guys. Um, Mario Kart even, like, you're in first place, suddenly, <laughs> Birdo goes by you. You see the windscreen. She's like, oh. 
or like a fucking vacuum cleaner. Yeah. I also don't vacuum anymore for similar reasons. There are actually practices all around the world. In China, there's actually a very, very well-known master who has techniques on how to abstain. Hi. Hi. How to punish the self if you go overboard. So don't you think you could get all the same benefits from NoFap just by having self-control and not binging porn? There are so many words you just said that make me uncomfortable. No disrespect, but honestly, disrespectfully, I wish you weren't here because I don't know why he chose a female interviewer. It's incredibly triggering for me. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry that... It's not okay. It's not okay. Sorry. It's really... It's really hard to be near you and also just I feel the sadness that all the men around me probably feel too and they don't even realize it. So there's so many men who are wasting their seed daily. It's okay. Multiple times a day when they should be keeping it for themselves just because a woman wants their seed to procreate. It's okay. I can't do this. People just don't understand how special their seat is. I just wish I could have taken back all those loops I blew. That was my mana. That was my life force and I ruined it. I wasted it for some woman who said she loved me and she did, but I didn't want to do it anymore. When I was a young boy, I did walk in on my father spilling his seed. That changed me forever. I have a lot of rage issues. Um, I think about my father, and I want to explode. I told my dad that I have 48 hours, and you know, he told me he doesn't want anything to do with me. Not everybody gets it. It's okay. It's okay that not everybody gets us, what we do. I have been suffering recently with some nightmares. It's my ex-wife, Deborah. She's dating this new guy who's a fucking sociopath. He's like c***ing and stuff. He c***s like a couple of times a week and it's disgusting. Mm -hmm. And it makes me feel gross just knowing that that guy is with my ex-wife. Um, I just want to say I'm going on 11 years. Yeah. Humble brag, sorry. Um, Can you bow? I would love to bow for you, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Clumsiness, a sign of frequent masturbation, a sign of seed being spilled, a sign of... No, 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 no. Is this gonna be a problem? No, I'm sorry. Because we might have to bring the dog in here. The dog can sniff that from a mile away if you have eject. Oh no. Yeah, this is our Dog. She is going to be checking you. Oh. Um, is that a boy or a girl dog? Okay, somebody definitely can't because she does not act like this. Is it a boy or a girl dog? Is it, oh, it's ask it for me. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. I'm just wondering, I was just asking. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, Whoa. Okay. The dog never lies. The dog sniffs the truth. You have something you want to tell us? This dog will know if you have Ejac. If you have spilled, this dog will know. Thank you. She has to go purge now because she's sick. Because you guys have made her sick with your seat. How did you train the purge of sick? Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. How did you? The dog was very cute. I didn't know they could train dogs to do that. There are consequences for when you spill, which you'll see today while you're here. You no, no, no. You no, no, no. You. It's just a basic punishment. It's not that serious. Uh Shamed. You're gonna be sitting here for the remainder of the meeting, is that okay? Yeah, I think, uh... oh, great. Tonight I got flogged a little bit, but I, I deserved it. I um, strayed off the path last week. It's gonna be a little while before I, I fully, you know, forgive myself. It's just a really nice support group here. We don't do anything weird. Are we gonna have a problem? 
They say testosterone peaks around three to six days. What do you think about going multiple years? I can actually curse you with my mind. That comes after three years and four months. Martinez, for instance, he can pull things out of thin air just by looking at you in the eyes long enough. Like, what's the number? Look at me. Starts with a nine. You realize he's seven years. He's gonna figure it out. One. So do you feel more powerful because of the retention? I actually perform something that I call going Matilda mode at my house when I'm in private. Um, what I do is I walk into my kitchen and I basically orchestrate a full-blown breakfast scenario happening. I throw toast in the toaster, I got eggs cracking, mm. pancake batter stirring itself. And yeah, that's Matilda mode. Martinez just got Matilda mode yesterday, I cried. He made me the most beautiful English fry up. It was delicious, the beans, everything. Um, so we do kind of treat this almost like a funeral when somebody does spill. Um, so we will be tearing a piece of my fabric. This is sort of akin to my faith. This is kind of like what you do at a Jewish funeral. Mm -hmm. You will be ripping uh, fabric every day that you mourn. So we are mourning every million specimen that was in his seed that he spilled. Seed spillage is almost like a abortion in a way. About millions, so a lot worse, actually. My, my seed is my, my seed. seed. Your, your seed, seed is your seed. Okay, so he's gonna start this off. It is the first of the month, so we do need to be doing penis inspection. Um, Take it away. Okay. So what you're gonna see might look different than what you're used to seeing, okay? You're gonna be viewing his penis now, okay? Great. Great. So as you can see, it's gray in nature here. You can see there's no moisture left. My nipples have gotten bigger because my testicles are up in my nipples. So as you can see, obviously he passes, so, so you're good. That's good. Thank you, Martin. So this is the kind of thing you have to look forward to if you can stick with no fat. Uh, just try to retain all your semen, please. You can touch. I'm gonna get on out of here. There's uh, a group that we call the elders, and that's people who have been abstained for five years. So we're gonna be doing something that involves the elders only, so if you're a newcomer less than five years, um, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. So you guys, thanks for coming. Thank you. You're magical, I can feel your essence. Um, okay, so elders inspection. Essentially what we do is every 90 days, we just have to make sure the elders are actually true. And uh, if you're five years in or longer, we just need confirmation by making sure that there is complete testicular retraction. He's gonna be doing basically a very, very close observation of the gonads and making sure that they're completely invisible to the naked eye. It's also clear when there's been a spill because there's often lots of blood. Realistically, both of us, we'd be in the hospital yeah. if there was a spill, so you'd know. But we just do this to maintain elder status. May I watch? Yes. Um. Thank you for being here. Thank you, I appreciate you. Nah. Mm -hmm. There's no energy left. <laughs> <laughs>